Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there's any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. So as usual, y'all, hope y'all having a blessed day. Hope you're staying safe, staying cool. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have yet to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So, let's get to it. Spirit, allow me to channel. So we have a father or father-in-law here. So this definitely could be, you know, your father, somebody else's father that is attached to your energy. But we do have a father or father-in-law out here. Spirit, why is this father or father-in-law out here? Whoever this father or father-in-law is, they're seeing the bigger picture about something. You know, maybe it could be about their life. Maybe it could be, you know, about, you know, the relationship that they should have with you or, you know, your, you and your siblings or, you know, if you don't have siblings with you. They're possibly just seeing the bigger picture, you know, about their life. And whoever this is, they're, they're realizing that actions speak louder than words, whoever this father or father-in-law is. Get one more, please, Spirit. We have faith will move mountains here. So whoever this father and fa father or father-in-law is, I do feel like, again, you know, they are seeing the bigger picture, you know, possibly, you know, of their life, you know, maybe whoever this father or father-in-law is, you know, they weren't in, they weren't in your life, you know. Maybe, you know, they, 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 they were doing things, you know, in their life that, that kept you away from, you know, kept them away from being in your life. And they're possibly seeing the bigger picture. I do feel like with this action speak louder than words, whoever this father is, they possibly want to take some type of action now because they are seeing the bigger picture. And I feel like that they are faint, praying. They are having, you know, faith, you know, that, that basically, you know, God will, will work things out for them. Whoever this father-in-law is, I do feel like, you know, that they could have gave you the lesser and not the most, you know. So, again, you might have not had a relationship with this father or father-in-law, you know. They might have not have been interested, you know, in having a relationship with you simply because of the lifestyle that they lived. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Let's see what's going on, y'all. I'm also getting to with this father or father-in-law here in the bigger picture. Whoever this father or father-in-law is, they possibly, you know, want you to, you know, see the bigger picture. Maybe they want you to see, you know, their side, you know, and maybe that will make the, the picture clearer for you, 
whoever you are. But I do feel like that, you know, they do want to, you know, take some type of action. And I feel like it's it's possibly, you know, to get you to see the bigger picture. Father and Father in law, why is it here, Spirit? Pathway. The bigger picture. Mature man. Mm -hmm. Action speak louder than words. Bad health. Faith will move mountains. Message. And then we have message of, of concern at the bottom of the deck and house. So yeah, whoever this father or father-in-law is, I feel like, you know, with this pathway here, they possibly did, you know, choose the wrong path, you know, in their life. And I feel like whoever this is, you know, they, they realize, you know, they're seeing the bigger picture. They, re they realize that, you know, the path has been cleared in their life. <clears throat> so whoever this is, you know, they possibly now want to change their life. This mature man card is a number five card. And so I do feel like that whoever this is... You know, they possibly have made some changes in their life. Whoever this father or father-in-law is, they are full of wisdom and knowledge, you know. Um, they could have traveled around the world, you know. They, they, they could have, you know, did a lot in their life. That, you know, I'm not saying that whoever this uh, father or father-in-law is, you know, was a criminal or anything. I'm just saying that they are seeing the bigger picture, you know, that they chose the wrong path in their life. And they're trying to change the path of their life. Maybe they worked a lot, you know. And they weren't able to be in your life or they traveled a lot, you know, and weren't able to be in your life. Whatever the situation is, they are seeing the bigger picture. And I do feel like it's because, you know, they, they're, they're, they're at a certain age to where, you know, they are now seeing things clearly. I do feel like whoever this father or father-in-law is, you know, because they have changed their ways, because they have, you know, changed their life. I do feel like that, you know they are realizing that you know actions speak louder than words and so i feel like whoever this is they do want to take some type of action you know to possibly you know have a conversation with you or to possibly you know try to get back you know in your life or something like that and it could be because you know they're going through bad health because this bad health card is here and so i do feel like whoever this is you know uh they possibly feel like, you know, that this bad health, you know, could get worse or could lead to, you know, you know, them not being, you know, on earth anymore. And so whoever this is, they possibly do. They want to take some type of action to possibly clear the air, you know, before, you know, this, this, this bad health issue takes over. They are praying, you know, that uh, about, you know, this health issue, whoever this is, they know that they're sick, but they are praying, you know, that, you know, Basically, they'll be healed from this. But whoever this is, you possibly are in communication. I said whoever this is. Whoever this father or father-in-law is, you're possibly not in communication, you know, with them. That's why this message is here. So whoever this is, you know, they possibly have been trying to reach you. Maybe, you know, you moved the last time that, you know, y'all spoke. Maybe, you know, they never really knew where you were. And maybe they can't get any information. I feel like with this message here, they possibly could have, you know, found out either where you live or, or where you are or they found out where someone lives to be able to get some type of message to you and so I feel like this father or father-in-law they are they're taking some type of action to try to communicate with you to let you know about this bad health situation yeah I just seen the uh, three of wands and eight of pentacles so yeah for a long time yeah, whoever this father or father-in-law is, you know, they did. They worked. They worked. 
But I feel like that, you know, their intentions with working so hard was, you know, to take care of the family. Mm hmm. Yeah. Whoever this father in law is, you know, they, they definitely could have, you know, had y'all moving around or, you know, they, they, or they could have, you know, possibly married somebody else, had a child and, and moved away. But now that you're grown, whoever this father or father-in-law is, they, they, they want to, you know, make it right, you know, before their time comes because whoever this is, they do know that they have a bad health issue, but they do know, you know, that they basically left, left you in the cold. Maybe you're the only child, you know, but they know that they left you in the cold. And at the end of the day, they are, they're heartbroken, but they're also heartbroken because of the information that they found out, you know, about their health. And it's got them all up in their head because, you know, they know that they haven't been in your life. You know, they know that they, you know, failed to be the father that they were supposed to be. And, and they do feel like that this bad health issue is going to lead them, you know, to possibly, you know, pass away. Yeah, they made the wrong decision um, and they and they know that they made the wrong decision. And I feel like that, you know, they had chance after chance after chance, you know, to possibly be in your life or possibly, you know, uh, do the right thing by you, you know, by your siblings, if you have some, you know, but I'm, I'm kind of picking up that you could be the only child. But at the end of the day, you know, they did whatever they did. They stayed away, you know. Um, and now they realize it. Now they're seeing the bigger picture. Father, father-in-law, pathway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten of pentacles and three of wands. So whoever this father father or father-in-law is, you know, they, they definitely possibly feel like that they went down the wrong path because they did. They built another family somewhere else. And they possibly financially supported this family, you know, for a long time. And, and maybe didn't support you in the way that they should have, you know, supported you. Whether it be financially, emotionally, mentally, physically. Yeah. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they realize it. They definitely realize it. They realize that they didn't they didn't put into you what they should have as a father, whoever this father or father in law is. And I do feel like, you know, that they possibly did work a lot as well. And I feel like whoever this is, they possibly did, you know, financially support, but that possibly was it. And and they're now they're seeing the bigger picture, you know. But it's because, you know, something has happened in their life to basically make them, you know, look at life differently. And it is this bad health issue. Mm -hmm. The bigger picture, mature man. Mm -hmm. We have the queen of cups here. So yeah, this definitely could be your mom, you know? And and they're and they're basically and whoever and this father or father in law, this this masculine energy here, they are they're 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 seeing the bigger picture, you know, that they went down the wrong path. They Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Queen of Cups, yeah, they built another family somewhere else, you know. And 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 basically they had whoever this Queen of Cups is, they had this Queen of Cups waiting, you know. It was like maybe, you know, this Queen of Cups thought that, you know, they were they were still gonna be a happy family. But this this uh, masculine energy, this father father in law, is realizing, you know, that they did. They built another family somewhere else, and they made this Queen of Cups wait. The tower, and so yeah, whoever this Queen of Cups is, I feel like that they possibly, you know, was like, I I can't do it no more. And so whoever this Queen of Cups is, could be your mom, you know, stepmom. Take it how it resonates. They possibly was like, well, at the end of the day. Because we've waited so long and, 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 and he's not being a husband to me. He's not being a father to you all or whatever the situation is. 
we're just gonna dead it. And so I feel like whoever this uh this 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 feminine energy is, this Queen of Cups here, I feel like that a lot of changes took place because of the fact of the matter is that this father or father in law basically left to build a family somewhere else and basically made made your family, your this Queen of Cups and you know, you and your siblings if you have them, wait, you know, for some type of positive change in your life. And so whoever this Queen of Cups is, I feel like that they basically just told whoever this father or father in law is to just to go. Just go. And so I feel like that that's what this father or father in law did. You know, they just kind of exited the premises, you know, and, and, and basically stayed away. Yeah, the world at the bottom of the deck. They could have traveled a lot, you know. We have the five of cups here. And yeah, they do feel they do feel, you know, despair about that. Because they realize with the strength card here that basically them traveling and them building another family somewhere else basically stopped them, you know, held them back from, you know, creating a balance, you know, for you all, whoever you are, when it comes to happiness. Actions speak louder than words, bad health. Yeah. So the death card came out like this. And so whoever this uh, father or father-in-law is, yeah, they really don't know, you know, if, if this health issue is going to lead to, you know, their ending. But they do know, you know, that they need to make something right. Whoever this is, they kind of do feel like that, you know, they're getting karma with the justice in reverse. They they are basically seeing the bigger picture, you know, that they didn't follow God's plan, you know. One of their purposes on this earth was to be a father and, and they didn't follow that plan. Everybody is not going to be blessed to be a father or a mother. Everybody is not going to be blessed, you know, to have kids. That's not, you know, everybody's purpose. And so whoever this is, that was a part of their purpose. That was a part of God's plan for their life was to be a father. And so whoever this is, they know you know, that, or they feel like that they're getting karma for not being a father. And I feel like that whoever this is, yeah, and we have four of wands at the bottom of the deck. They're not building stability, yeah, not bringing stability. Whoever this is, they, they feel like that there was injustice because, you know, they didn't, they didn't provide, you know, a roof over your head. They didn't provide any stability, you know. Throughout your life, whoever this father or father in law is. Mm -hmm. And again, now they're going through this uh, bad health issue, and there is a chance that they could pass away. You know, they feel like that that's karma. They are praying, you know, they're praying that at least they can, you know, communicate with you through some type of letter, maybe a telephone call. Faith will move mountains. Message. Mm hmm. Yeah, but they don't really know, you know, where you are. Seven of Cups. You could have moved. You could have moved. Mm -hmm. With the Six of Swords. And But I do feel like that they are trying to find you. They possibly are trying to find you, you know, to, to possibly come towards you as well. But but if they can't find you to come towards you, at least they can find some type of address to maybe, you know, send you some type of letter to at least let you know, you know, that they are passing away. For some of you, you know, they might be trying to send you a letter to say, hey, I'm passing away and, and here goes the documents to my will or here goes, you know, woo woo yada yada and blase blase. But they're trying to find you, you know, and, and with the Six of Wands here, it gives me that either you moved or you know they moved and and that's that has been the end of communication but whoever this father or father-in-law is they are trying to find you yeah eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah so they could definitely have you know <clears throat> traveled for work things of that nature but at the end of the day yeah whoever this is they do they're they're, they're trying to find you because they want to communicate with you and I feel like that they want to communicate with you to let you know that they are dealing with bad health that's a possibility that they're going to pass away 
Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Yeah, Grief, Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, they're in grief, you know, about their, their past actions. They're in grief, you know, that they weren't a father to you. And you definitely are an adult, you know. But whoever this is, I do feel like because, you know, they are dealing with this bad health issue. There possibly are a lot of things because we have the tower and death here. So whoever this is, they are the bigger picture. They're going through a lot of realizations. And one of the, the biggest realizations that they're going through is whoever this Queen of Cups is. It could be their mom, you know. Maybe maybe it's their mom, you know, that could have passed away. Or if it's not, you know, their mom, it could be whoever you are's mom. But they're seeing the bigger picture about whoever this Queen of Cups is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like that's what's making them really, you know, go through a lot of these realizations. But they, they do. They feel despair because they, they burdened and stressed this Queen of Cups. They, they left this Queen of Cups out in the cold. Possibly to take care of you all, you know, to possibly, you know, do whatever uh, this Queen of Cups had to do. Yeah. Four of Wands. Whatever this uh, Queen of Cups had to do to, to survive, you know, with you all, that's uh, basically what, you know, this 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 father father in law is really realizing. Mm hmm. And, and they're really realizing that they should have married this Queen of Cups, whoever this Queen of Cups is. Instead of leaving, you know, the family out in the cold. Queen of Cups, the Tower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the moon is here. Yeah. They are going through a lot of realizations too that you know they hid a lot of things from whoever this Queen of Cups is. And it, the lovers is here at the bottom of the deck, so it could have been about, you know, another situation. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they are in despair, you know, about that. They feel like that, you know, if they never hid, you know, the things that they were doing behind the scenes from this Queen of Cups, they wouldn't be going through this karma. Whoever this father or father-in-law is, they feel like that they're going through karma for, you know, the things that they've done in the past. Death, justice in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Yeah. They did a lot of, you know, manipulative and deceitful things, you know, that they kept hidden. And they feel very, very bad about it. Yeah. But then we have this Four of Wands here. So for some of you, yeah, they're they're trying they're praying, they're trying to find you, you know, because they possibly do have some type of house for you. With this four of wands here, they have something for you. That's why they're trying to find you. Yeah, this queen king of cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it could have been, you know, that I said Queen of Cups, excuse me, this King of Cups. And it could have been, you know, that they didn't know that you were the father, uh, the, 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 the child. They didn't, maybe they didn't know that, that you, that they were the father of you, you know, because we have the King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Nine of, uh, Nine of Cups. So yeah, whoever this is, they, they realize that you are their child. They do realize that you are their child. So maybe somebody said that you weren't. Yeah, they were manipulated to believe it. And they're mad. They were manipulated to believe you know that you're not you weren't their child whoever you are but they are sick you know they are sick and they do and they do they want to take some type of action you know towards you mhm mm yeah but they don't know where to start cuz they do they feel defeated they feel defeated because they left you out in the cold but I do feel like that they are looking for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They want to apologize for the heartbreak. Mm -hmm. 
Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, please, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Whoever this father and father law, father or father in law is, yeah, they're emotionally scarred. But they know that they emotionally scarred you. But it's because, you know, they went and built a family somewhere else and basically, you know, made y'all wait or, you know, didn't really, you know, do what they were supposed to do as a father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that whoever this uh father or father in law is they they do feel like that this Queen of Cups is also emotionally scarred. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, I do feel like that, you know, whenever this father-in-law, you know, left or whatever and made y'all wait, whoever this Queen of Cups is, they already knew what was going on. Look at look at the face. And that's why, you know, this tower moment came into play. I feel like whoever this Queen of Cups is, they initiated their this this tower moment, you know, for themselves. So they could, you know, go on with their life. And I feel like that they made a lot of changes, you know. they Whoever this Queen of Cups is possibly moved y'all far away from whoever this father and father-in-law is. Queen of Cups, the tower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be 30 to 35 to 45 years old or you know when 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 uh you know this father-in-law i mean this father and father-in-law queen of cups were you know 35 to 45 years old that's when you know um the change could have taken place you know because whoever this uh father and father-in-law is they are a mature man you know so i mean i, I can't say how old they are but they definitely are, you know, a mature man, and whoever this Queen of Cups is is definitely, you know, a mature man, uh, a mature woman. Whoever you are, you could you could literally be, you know, thirty five to forty five years old now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, with that being said, maybe you know you were kept a secret. Maybe you know this Queen of Cups was pregnant with you. You know, when when this mature man, when this father or father-in-law decided to leave. And, and maybe, you know, this Queen of Cups didn't say anything because they already knew that this father or father-in-law, you know, started a, a, new, uh, a new family, a new life somewhere else. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like that you were kept a secret or something like that. But somehow, some way, the father or father-in-law found out that you know they are your father death justice in reverse yeah i'm also getting to that maybe you know this queen of cups told you that you know your father 
was dead, you know, passed away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But whoever this father or father-in-law is, they are trying to find you. They are sick. And maybe, you know, because this planning on moving to a new city or state came out. So, yeah, first of all, you know, they, they could have, you know, whoever this Queen of Cups is, they made changes and they possibly moved y'all, you know, to another city, state or country. But whoever this uh, father or father-in-law is, they definitely moved to, you know, another city, state or country. But whoever this is, I do feel like they actually speak louder than words and they do want to come towards you, you know. Maybe they feel like that, you know. This is the last time that they're ever going to be able to see you or whatever the situation is. But they are. They're planning on moving to a new city, state, or country. And I feel like it's close to where you're at. You know? If it's not where you're at, they're trying to find out where you're at so that they can move. Or come towards you at least. But but it says planning on moving to a new city, state, or country. Seven of Cups. Six of Swords. One fell on the floor. Seven of Cups, Six of Swords. Falling on the floor, y'all. Somebody don't want me to get this message out. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. God's plan. So, yeah. This father or father-in-law, they do feel like that they're getting karma, you know, for not being a father. You know, not doing the things, you know, that that God purposed for, well, one of the things that God purposed for them, which was being a father. Again, they do want to, they're, they're, they're trying to find you, you know, possibly planning on moving to, you know, the city that you live in, the state that you live in, the country that you live in. But it is a part of God's plan. I do feel like that because this is your father or father-in-law, take it how it resonates. They want to make sure that, you know, they, they say something to you before they, you know, pass away. Because whoever this is, they do feel like that they are. They're going to pass away from this bad health issue. But they feel like, you know, that they basically, you know, are operating in God's plan now by trying to come towards you to make it right. Yeah. Yeah. And they do. Five of Cups. They they are in despair. They feel stupid because they did. They mistreated their own children because of the mess that they made. And I feel like that the mess that they feel like that they made was to basically leave you, you know, leave their children and this Queen of Cups to go build another family somewhere else. Yeah. They were keeping secrets from whoever this Queen of Cups is. They were showing this Queen of Cups fake love. And, and with that being said, they definitely do feel like that, that they were showing you fake love or you and your siblings if you have them, you know. But they were doing a lot of uh, things in secret. And I feel like, you know, they were building another family behind the scenes and showing, you know, this Queen of Cups and uh, fake love. Ten of Swords. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and they definitely do, you know, feel like that this health issue is going to, you know, um, possibly lead to them passing away. And they know, well, they feel like that they don't have a lot of time. But whoever this is, they know that God waits for no man. And they know that, well, they feel like that that's why they're getting karma, you know, because they chose to make, you know, you wait, whoever you are. They chose to make this family wait, you know, because they wanted to go build another family. And it's a Ten of Pentacles situation. So basically, they possibly just went to build another family, you know, for finances. Versus a Ten of Cups situation when it's just all love, you know, priceless things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, whoever this is, they know that God waits for no man. Um, they are praying, you know, that they can, you know, communicate with you to be able to come towards you. Whoever this is. For some of you, you know, it is the fact that whoever this father is, they engage in criminal activity. Because for some of you, whoever this father is, they're getting out of jail or prison. So this father definitely could have, you know, done some things in their past that has gotten them locked up. That's not for all. Four of Wands. April could be significant. And yeah, with this four four wands uh, here, and God waits for no man because they possibly you know feel like that. Um, you know, they are going to pass away. They do want to come towards you. For some of you, you know, with this Four of Wands, they do have a house for you. <clears throat> but I'm also getting to with this Four of Wands, you know, they, they basically, if they're going to pass away, they want to pass away in, a, in somebody's house, you know, that they that they love. Because, yeah, they know every dog has, has their day. And so whoever this is, they know that at any moment they could pass away. And that's why they're trying to get to you. That's why they're trying to come to, you know, get to your house. But for, for some of you, whoever this is resonating with, they possibly do have a house, you know, that they possibly want to give you. Yeah. Whoever this father or father-in-law is, yeah. They, they definitely went down the wrong path. You know, they were the type of person that it's my way or the highway type of deal. And so I feel like that they're realizing, you know, that that wasn't the way to go. They're realizing that they shouldn't have operated that way. They're seeing the bigger picture. Mm Spirit. Yeah, whoever this uh whoever this father or father in law is, yeah, they they definitely, you know, realize, you know, that they were not a father, you know, that they operated in the wrong way, you know. For some of you, whoever this father or father in law is, they definitely could have been locked up for a very, very long time in prison. Um, but they realize that their actions speak louder than words and so they feel like that, you know, whatever they were doing in their life, you know, in the past is basically catching up with them. 
and but they also but they do they want to communicate with you possibly want to you know travel towards you or move towards you you know so that they can you know spend their last days with you whoever this is they do have faith that you know whatever is going on with their health issue can be healed you know and they really do want to be healed you know they want their comeback to be greater than their setback whoever this is and I feel like it's not just with their health it's you know with them being a father yeah because they did they they, they gave the lesser not the most Yeah. Whoever this father or father in law is could be a Virgo or have it in their chart. Or you could be a Virgo. Have it in your chart. This Queen of Cups could be a Virgo or have it in their chart. But whoever this father or father in law is, they know that they're emotionally scarred and they and they know that they have emotionally scarred everybody that they love. Because of their agenda, you know, their my way, my way or the highway agenda, you know, they're, they're, they're either do it my way or by type of type of mindset, and they know that they have emotionally scarred you and everybody else that you know, basically they love because of their agenda. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Because at the end of the day, this father or father in law definitely did ask God to guide their footsteps. But they basically they 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 weren't willing to move their feet when, when God said this is the way that you have to go. They went the opposite way. Yeah. But now they're asking God to guide their footsteps and now they're willing to move, you know? Um literally, physically move. Because they feel like it's a part of God's plan. If they didn't follow God's plan before, they want to follow it now. Yep. Spirit says keep an ear to the ground because there is some information coming. And so, yeah, we know that because we have a message out here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a letter. It's 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 some type of communication coming. Yeah, and whoever this father or father-in-law is, you know, they, they mistreated, you know, their own children because of the mess that they made. So I feel like that, you know, they just didn't come around or they just, you know, ignored, you know, their uh, their children because they built a family somewhere else. And they realize that stupidity is a disease without medicine. And, and they are really, really, really in despair because they know that they, you know, mistreated their children. They know, you know, that they showed their children fake love. Whoever this father or father-in-law is could be 55 to 65 years old. And so, yeah, they know that, you know, because of their old, older age and because of this health issue, it's a chance that they, you know, sooner than later, they're going to pass away. And they know that God waits for no man. And so with that being said, whoever this father is, father-in-law, yeah, they want to try to make it right. Yeah, they want to try to make it right. They know that they, you know, did a lot of damage. A lot of damage that they possibly feel like that is unrepairable. And they know that every dog that has his days, that's why they feel like that they're getting karma. But they still want to try to make it right, whoever this father or father-in-law is. And I do feel like that with this four of wands here, you know, there possibly is some type of house, you know, that this father either owns or, you know, has already always had for you. Because if you look at this message card, you have a letter right here, right? But then you have all these other letters or documents or whatever in that drawer. And so, you know, maybe, you know, you were supposed to be receiving messages about this a long time ago. And maybe, you know, this, this uh, father, father-in-law is just now realizing that you never received the messages about this house. And I do feel like that they are. They're trying to, you know... They're trying to uh, 
possibly yeah get you this message message of concern came came right back out and look at the bottom of the deck y'all house yeah wow yeah so maybe somebody you know went you know to the courts went to the judge you know and said look they're locked up we can't uh because because for some of you we, it already came out you know somebody's father is you know uh locked up but they're getting out and so with that being said somebody these people could have went you know to the judge and was like look they're locked up what can we do to get this house and, you know, the judge was possibly like, well, do they have any children and whatever? And and maybe, you know, these people were like, nope. Because, again, either you were kept a secret or, you know, it was just like once once this father father-in-law was gone, that was the end of it. And so maybe, you know, these people have been living in the house the whole time and you didn't know. But we have four of wands here and we have a house. We have a message of concern. We have a message. You know, not everybody's father or father-in-law was locked up. You know, this imprisonment could also say that they were just stuck in a situation. You know, maybe people had to go act on their behalf. Or maybe this father or father-in-law didn't know, you know, that people went behind the scenes, you know, um, and acted, you know, on behalf of themselves as far as this house. But there is a house out here. And I feel like whoever this father and father-in-law is, you know, is trying to make sure, you know, that you get what they have for you. Not just, you know, tangible stuff, not just the house or money or whatever, but also the love that they never showed you, never gave you, you know, all these years. So, that has been the message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.